all right guys my name is arith karakar and welcome back to the brainstorm codings in this video i will show you the difference between the print line function and the printf function so we have been using these functions from the very beginning of this course but still i have told you that why we use the separate functions for printing the output so let's start with the print line function before that let me remove all this code and start from the beginning so we have the package main then we have the import statement then we have the main function so this is the package which contains both these functions print ln and printf functions so let's start with the print line function so print ln stands for print line if i run this i get to see hello play go run not playground let's change it so the print line function automatically adds a new line or a line break at the end of the statement so you can see if i create another print line function which says brainstorm codings and if i run this code you get to see print brainstorm codings on the next line so the print line function adds a line break or a new line at the end of the statement and we can even have the arguments inside the print line function so if i declare two variables let's do it on the same line 20 and 30 now if i want the addition of this variable to be printed over here using the print line function a plus b if i run this code i get to see the addition and if you notice here after the colon i haven't added the space but still i have this space while getting this output so the print line function also adds space between the arguments so if i say the addition of then i will use comma let's take a and b is a plus b if i run this code i get to see the addition of 20 and 30 is 50 and the spaces are added automatically between the arguments so this is how you can use the print line function let's talk about the printf function so the printf stands for print formatter and in the printf function we have the symbols for formatting the strings or integers or floating point numbers and then we have the arguments so just like here we have the arguments between the strings we don't have the arguments between the strings in the printf function we have the arguments at the end of uh, the statement after after the strings and we use special symbols for formatting the strings we use the percent s for formatting the strings then we use percent d for formatting the integer values and these symbols are replaced by the arguments in the output so if i want to print the same statement then i will say the addition of percent d and percent d is percent d now first i want to have the variable a over here replaced by replacing this percent d 
I will say a then I will have b then a plus b now if I run this code we have to have this a purpose letter p now I get the addition so here it says the addition of 20 and 30 is 50 so this first person d is replaced by the variable a the value which is stored in this variable a then the second person d is replaced by the value which is stored in this variable b and the third person d is replaced by the addition of these two values so we have to take care of the order as well so if i replace this one if i use the b variable in the end let's see what we get so we get the addition of 20 and 50 is 30 which is not possible so you have to take care of the order in which you are giving the arguments so this is how you use both the functions and this is the difference between both the functions when you need to format the strings or integer values then you will use the printf function and when you want to print the simple statements like this or you want to have a new line then you can use this print line function and here if you want to have a new line in the printf function then we can use the backslash and n now if i print another statement after this print line function or after this printf function it will be outputted in the end here we have it and if i remove this backslash n then we will have this on the same line we have this on the same line so that's all about the print line and tip function thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one